We are going to play more of this fucking game. And we're, we're going to be in a better mood because I, we probably bought it, put ourselves in a rut emotionally last time when we had to deal with the fucking... <laughs> We spent like a 90 <laughs> minutes grinding to with no avail and just being sad about it for a while last time. Yeah. Like now we're probably in a great we're fresh. I'm ready, ready to, to bend this game to our will and make it more interesting and successful than last time. Um uh, I did discover something, and it is that when we were playing last time, the game was definitely a little bit bugged out. Um but I repaired the game files, and I'm hoping things will work now. <laughs> um, so you may have noticed, when we tried to use certain items, they didn't do anything, like the bear trap. Um, the and, it was just grayed out? Yeah, and it was just grayed out. There was nothing we could do. Um, you sure it's not like it was, any kind of like weird... Ah! Uh, no, that's fine. I, I did this... I'm going to reload, because I'm going to use an item. But the... Uh, you should be able to, for example, set the bear trap on the map. So if you remember yesterday, no, I was like, one, do we? Uh, I'm not sure if we have one right now. We might have reloaded. But uh, if you remember, I tried to set the bear trap down and then it just like exited the menu. And I was like, why? Why isn't it working? Like, what does this thing do? Maybe we have to use it in battle. Uh, and it turns out, no. Um, it's just supposed to work. It's supposed to do exactly what I thought it was gonna do, which is like put a trap down for an enemy. And uh, it just didn't work. It just, the game just didn't respond. So, um, yeah. Which is weird. It is very Makes weird. Makes me wonder if there's some kind of esoteric thing going on, like a dwarf fortress thing, like, ah, oh, the bear trap's only usable in this terrain or some other like complicated reason why it wasn't working. Yeah. Uh, we Thinking have a back to party. the person that you you read a comment from that was like, this is an immersive sim. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess in Super Eyepatch Wolf's video, he said, like, this game isn't a JRPG, it's an immersive sim. And now people are, like, commenting that everywhere. And I'm like, oh, no, is this game really an immersive sim? I <laughs> I don't know if I would call it that. It's kind of just a JRPG with intense mechanics. But um, I guess that that's one of the most ambiguous things to try to define in all of gaming, potentially. Yeah, like. Weird West is called an immersive sim, and I think it's a turn-based top-down strategy game. Um, I think it's like a real-time with Dwarf pause, Fortress like, an immersive -like sim. <laughs> I don't know if I would call it the Dwarf Fortress one. Maybe. I just I just wonder what the rules are because every time I think of an immersive sim, I think of some kind of first-person stealth action hybrid with emergent gameplay elements. Yeah. And RPG stuff. The, the joke I tell people is if a game is a first-person shooter with a locked door and a vent you can crawl through, it's an immersive sim. That's like a joke, yeah. but it's also true. <laughs> yeah. Or like in an H Bomber Guys video, I think he says that like an immersive sim is a game where you can solve your problems by stacking crates. Yes, exactly. Uh, um, so you're, you're, you're suggesting here that we can potentially beat this door down because we have four party members now that can do the yeah. smacking. I don't know how much... Because we've never broken through a door. Why don't we try no. it? <laughs> we need to figure out the rules even of what they want from us here. Wow, you're going to uh, cost her her sanity. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to attack. It all comes down to you, girl. Whoa! <laughs> okay, the door is too strong. The One terrifying of you is better presence. at hitting doors than everyone else. Yeah. Uh, the terrifying presence came up here? Yeah, I'm nervous. Skills, That's new. Let's try it. It is new. I guess the idea is you're better at beating doors if you use bludgeoning. Oh! Oh! Hey! We did it! She's we only got a in. little more dead inside now. Yeah. Oh, question is where does this go? Yeah, I have no idea. You managed to force your way through the door. Iron arrow. An iron arrow. Turnip. A turnip. Scary stairs. A slight draft is felt from a staircase. It's Havel. Oh. Search the crate for anything. Oh, no. What if it is Havel? What if we go to the <laughs> bottom and there's a guy in friggin' knight armor about to Just kill us? Just deletes you. Well, hey, guy. 
Hey, dude. Girl's looking for some comfort from you. She's seemingly distressed. Realize you've, you've delved, delved too, too deep. deep. Whoa. <laughs> Starts to crack what a sentence to say. Quill. All right. Um, that's like, that's like the, the fucking, the dwarves dug too deep, too greedily. Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you've met a terrible fate, haven't you? Like that style of yeah. <laughs> kind of terror. All right. Uh, we should craft some food if we can. Blue vial, that could be good. Ooh, this, gonna it's a kind of horror that's pie. sometimes under that's sometimes hasn't come up enough in games. Is the uh, the uh, House of Leaves sort of nightmare space? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, w I wasn't even really thinking about that, but you're right. I guess we haven't really thought about the like terror of this setting. Oh, okay, there we go. We got another bear trap. So I want to try that next time. There's an enemy like chasing after us. Oh, alcohol increases your mind. So we just gave alcohol to the little girl. Yeah. She, she's doing great. And now she's feeling great. Oh, this is where we just was? Huh? Oh, we need to use... We back in the ghost mine. The structure beams look rickety and run down. The ceiling looks like it's about to collapse. Maybe if we have more looks explosives... Looks like it already collapsed. Yeah, it looks like if we have more exclu- uh, I was about to say exclusives. Explosives? <laughs> it huh. The mysterious organ is pulsating steadily. You cannot quite tell what this organ is, but there are veins coming from it and burrowing underground. Seems like it's connected to something bigger. Man, that reminds me of, um, what was that game I just played? Uh, Baroque. Welcome, welcome to the spaghetti room. Oh, yeah. A dead person is tightly embraced by the growth. Goals, honestly. Yeah, at least they have someone that loves them. They, yeah. they, they no longer need to crave physical touch. Um. So this is kind of no, the, the moment I saw this, I was trying to think of, like, I feel like I've seen some game where that looked like an ammo type or something. Yeah. There's an old book with the rich golden illustrations left here. You take the book of light. Oh, a save point! Random books lay on the table. They don't seem overly useful. Okay. When you mentioned when you so you were going on about how people compared this to uh, pathologic and how nonsensical that feels, but I, I think the strongest comparison, besides just the constantly diminishing meters, is probably the fact that you have several selectable characters that all seem to have simultaneous canonical playthroughs. Yep. So you like you'll like play the the bachelor and you'll interact with oh. with Artemy Barak here and there. Then you'll go back and play as Artemy Barak, and like the context will change. Yeah. In a way that doesn't feel like it. Can, that, like each playthrough can't actually exist at the same time in the Pathologic games, uh, and a similar thing seems to be happening here. But like, we've intersected with at least two of the uh, playable characters. I think all of them, right? Um. Yeah, at least two of them. And it's kind of specifically interesting that you've like been able to recruit Dars. Or oh. Dars. <laughs> no, Moonless. No. No, Moonless is dead. God, that's quick. Moonless is dead now. All right. Well, we'll just have to remind remind ourselves that we can come back down here and and test things out. Yeah, we're learning things. But this is now a dead run. We can never finish Whoa. the game without Moonless. Oh. Well. <laughs> Alright, maybe this she run is a little bit more dead than I thought it would be. <laughs> Did you even have a chance to do an action that time? No, uh, I... Tried to run. Oh. Ah. It's like the girl died so abruptly. Nope. Is that like a beat down to one health attack? Rut row. Well, <laughs> that's fine. Alright, so, I mean, we kind of know where to go, though. They're not constantly hitting us with the new end. Yeah. That's good. So, 
let's just, I guess, try to do this again. Why not, right? Like. We'll use black orb to break through there because I do want to explore down here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Permanent mind damage to girl. Dars, you missed a door? <laughs> yeah, you dingus. God damn. Everyone, everyone's pulling their weight here, Dars. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking missed a door. I know it's more air than door, but damn. <laughs> Everyone got a hit this time. What if getting all four of them to hit in the same combo is actually really rare? <laughs> it's just there like this is the new RNG nightmare. Nice. All right. That was good for Are us. Are you not going to loot them? Uh, I'm going to. I just wanted to make sure there weren't any other enemies right there. Ring of Still Blood. Um. It makes you better at sniping. Uh, said to make blood still and thus prevent bleeding. Oh, that's useful. That's not Can't how blood works. <laughs> that's a child's understanding of how blood works. It's very funny. <laughs> yeah, well, like, uh, we'll put that on if we desperately need it. I don't know if we do. It'd be though. very. What would be incredible to me is if you put it on and died instantly. <laughs> and like, like, what the fuck did you? What do you mean you want to make your blood still? <laughs> oh, it'll stop your bleeding. Yeah, that's the all it'll do. <laughs> Ancient doors stand imposing here. Even if they seem age old, there are markings on the ground suggesting that they've been used rather regularly even during modern times. Open the doors. The cube of the depth seems. To, oh, it seems to react to the doorway. You feel a pulse coming from the cube. Oh. Tomb of the Gods. We need to get- it's the penis head people. They they worship pe oh, they have penis stabs. All the stabs they're holding are, are their dicks. Oh. <laughs> welcome to- welcome back to, uh, the gore game. I forgot the name of it again. Uh, Scorn? Scorn. Stone statue standing ominously here. It's too heavy to move. It won't even budge. Okay. Cool. It feels so, so primed for a push the statue puzzle like Golden Sun. Huh. Who that was that? That was someone. Yeah. Friend or oh, Spider Man. No. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't. Scarecrow. The body snatcher is counting your extra limbs. Oh. Huh. Maybe he's friendly. <laughs> uh, That's a lot of limbs to work through. My first instinct in a lot of this is to go for the legs, but that one prisoner that doesn't even have legs was like weirdly good at hitting you. Yeah. <sighs> Moonless is five health. There we go. Damn. Butter snatchers, little bitch. You take trench coat off the future and you find a throwing dart. Okay. Let's try using um... items. Yeah. Combat items. There we go. Heal. Uh, who do I want to heal next? I think I'm fine for now. Hmm. Sturdy ancient door here. The door is practically solid stone. There's no way of breaking it. What? Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that little guy! <laughs> He's ah! <laughs> How did you dodge him with a whole party? Oh, look right. at him go! I'm so good. That's how. Stone statue, stone statue. What oh my do? god! Standing ominously, too heavy to move. Too heavy to move. Won't even budge. What are we missing here? What about this room? What what is going on? Hmm. Do you think the statues are all just here to drive you insane, making me I think that no one idea. of them might be the one that does something? Yeah, what if one, uh, I have to move a single one? Yeah. Statue has fallen here. And oh no, his dick away. broke. Oh. His, He's his, dead of his, broke it, dick-itis. It's not a walking stick, it's a walking dick. 
Whoa, Tom, Dick, and Harry. All right, wait. Ah, ah, you gotta go move fast. Away. You gotta move fast to clear the last person. The fact that the ins every time you inspect the thing, it they keep moving is it's just off-putting. It's so distressing. Oh, there's a guy behind you now. Yep. Nice. Heads. Long sword, cool. That's that. That's the theme. Long swords are the theme of this dungeon. This guy he looks like Hitler. One, though. He does look like Hitler. I feel not bad about killing him. He looks like Socket Man Hitler. No, oh, no. Oh. Well, they don't need their heads. No. Oh no, the girl's infected. She's double Man. infected. She's a goner. You just gotta cut both of her limbs off. Also, she's missing a limb. Already. Oh, what a terrible sound. <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, girl's fine. She doesn't eat her legs. Darkness hides enormous city ruins. Find a torch, okay. Oil. Explosive vial, cool. How can something like this remain hidden from the world? I didn't realize what I got myself into when I stepped down to this darkness. These ruins give me terrible feelings. If something like this was still waiting for us, what else is there yet to come? That is the thought every time we go to a new floor. and we're Literally, like, every how? single time. How many floors even are there? 30? 200? 8? Found a pipe. This looks like... Do, wait, no, does it? Mm. This looks like Mahabur, the, the place that we yeah, were Yeah, it looks like the place you went to in a memory. In a state of which is presumably above the ground at the time. Yeah. Unless it's like a fucking, like, the city in Deltarune or Undertale or whatever that's underground. Yeah. I think yeah, this, this is... is the same place. The ancient cityscape rises before you. <coughs> Search the barrel for anything useful. Long forgotten. Moss. Dirt. Wooden buckler. This is definitely... Yeah, it's that town for sure. You hear some different sounds echoing from the darkness. A terrible odor emanates from a distance. Well, that's not good. Huh. A few ancient scrolls lying around. Search. No. Both fragmentistic. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Here they come. Where is my bear trap? Didn't I get one? Stay away from me. Not a pipe, not an iron arrow. Huh. Girl died because of her affected wound. Okay, well, bye, girl. It was nice knowing her, especially by name. <laughs> <laughs> we somehow know the dog's name, but not the girl's. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just can't stress how weird that is. It the is, the very dog strange. is not called Wolf, ah. <laughs> it's called Moonless. <laughs> There's something going on. The hairy beast is dragging someone. Ignore the beast. Who is that? Is that the guy we came here to find? Uh, I don't know how we Le would know that. Lamarck? But, what was his name? <laughs> uh, Lagarde, I think? White vial. This is obviously a failed run of some kind because that girl died, but 
Ancient city tower of the endless. You can see a lone tower rising from the darkness. Worm juice. Tower of the endless. Red vial. Sticks. That makes We're getting health like, potions like now. There's like an infinite grind. Oh. So. <laughs> ah, he's coming! He's coming out! <laughs> he's like a frog or something. Oh my goodness. Scarab. Oh my goodness. The reveal of it, the face turning into a little spider nightmare was great. Don't poke me, dude. All right. Oof. Oh boy. Oop. Damn. Hedron was defeated. Now give All us right. the scarab ending where the scarab climbs down your throat or something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how useful it would be to like, I know it sounds really demoralizing right now, but like restart on a fresh file knowing what we know now. Cause I feel like the progress we've been making isn't actually that much progress. <laughs> I mean, even by the standards of what we have, the entire save is only one hour long. Yeah, exactly. And we're like eight hours in. <laughs> No, it's probably, it probably doesn't take very long to get to where we are specifically, unless we get st stuck again. Yeah. <laughs> like we struggle to recreate the steps or something. But there's also the question of whether you'd be playing the same character or a different character, because that might change several steps. Yeah. Like, imagine I... not having the lockpick and yeah. having to figure out the keys or whatever. I would probably keep playing as him just for the sake of, like... I don't know, like making sure that we can replicate like as much that as much as we already have. Like, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too nervous about that. Ooh, mix and match stew, blueberry pie, mix of red and blue. Sure, light blue vial. Neat. Um, and we would we would be armed with so much more information too. So maybe, maybe we experiment with I, that. I guess what I'm what what specifically you're hoping to undo? It's not that I'm hoping to undo anything. It's I'm wondering how much momentum we could gain. Which is to say, early on in the run, we like used a lot of food without realizing we could cook things, and we. Uh, fought a lot of battles that reduced our HP. Um, and I guess my question is like, is it possible to do all of this without that? If that makes sense, like without having to waste all of that stuff? Like it's like a pathologic question of like, should I should I reset my run and, yeah. you know, take advantage of the fact that I know that prices go up on the third day to, like, get a bunch of money? A new play is being rehearsed in the theater. All right, uh, let's disable... I just, don't know if we're, I just don't know if we're specifically, like, starving for stat... for items anyway. It's less items and more healing like my my health is really low right now oh girl's dead she's gonna get she got bit she's done for it's definitely brutal that that a uh, healing essentially doesn't exist yeah like hp doesn't it, it, it's just a, a ticking time bomb basically hi oh god He's got an armor-plated dick. Yep. Um, I'm trying to see what we have to use here. I, I mean, this is basically a lost run again already because the girl took damage, but. All right, at this point in the runs, she always has a missing hand, huh? Yeah. Just 
chody neck. <laughs> you can't just go around telling people their necks look like chodes, Keith. It's not, it's not <laughs> nice to do. You see a dark figure looming in the shadows on the other side of the bars. There's an ominous aura coming from inside. You seem to hesitate in opening the door. Open. His throat is cut open. He's been dead for a while. This is the man you came here for, which means that your initial mission has failed. Oh. That's him. Dars took a step closer to the man. No. This cannot be... Dars seems to be trembling and terribly shaken emotionally. Uh, are you okay? She clearly tries to keep her tears from flowing. Let's just leave this morbid place. Please, let's just leave. The girl kneels next to the man. She seems to recognize him from somewhere. There's a slight glimmer in her eyes resembling a teardrop. Hmm. So my... Your task in the dungeons is done. There's no reason to stay here any longer. Can we just leave then? <laughs> what does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Did you win? By losing? I mean, hey, is if the that's game the case, over? What the what is the, what are you implying, game? Yeah. Found a bottle of whiskey. Because yeah, you, both you and Darce were here for the same person, assuming that she's here for the same reason that she was in her time in her pl playthrough. Yeah. Because when he played as the when he played as the outlander, he didn't care about that. He was here for completely different reasons, if I remember correctly. But these two are specifically here for this guy. Yeah. Uh, let's heal up as much as we can. I can't escape this guy, so we are going to have to find a way to. He is extremely him in your way. And escape. Yeah. I think I think he literally he he's blocking our way because we interacted there. Oh, Dars is bleeding. Did she cut herself? Um, would she just get hit before? I don't know. Highly corrosive didn't mention that, right? to melt certain objects. Uh, throwing knife. Knife designed for throwing. Throwing dart. Dipped in poison. That's useful. Um, I'd be slightly afraid I... to use any vials in combat because they feel like they all might be usable for like the environment. Yeah. I mean, if we can make it out of here, though... Uh, throwing knife, torso, Dars, item, uh, explosive vial, why not? <laughs> That's a cute little animation. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn. Completely focused on one person. Oh, did we blind? Did we? I guess we blinded him. So that's what the red thing does. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that status effect. And he's bleeding. Oh my God, he survives. Oh, so yep. the. Nice. Oop. Okay. Well. An increasing girl's number dead. of enemies that just survive decapitation. Hello. Huh. Oh, it's you. He has passed away, hasn't he? Hmm. Thought he would have had a bigger role in the greater scheme of things, but alas. Of course, him passing away doesn't mean that what we started should come to an end. After all, you came to these dungeons because of him, right? The seed of what he planted continues to grow and branch. If you continue your descent into the darkness, you can understand what I'm talking about. Head down, and just maybe his death won't go in vain. There's certainly an interesting bunch of people gathered here today. <laughs> well, that's my two cents anyway. Take from it what you want. Bye. 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 Uh, fuck that. We're leaving. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized there's a typo there. there <laughs> Moonless Marcher in... Terio Tori. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. Well, this is a dead run. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> you probably used the throbbing meat thing as a as a Resident Evil boss fight chamber to to evade somebody. I wonder. Just can't go around. Can I go around it? Or I'm trying right now. Oh, cut it open is an option. There we go. Meh. Yeah. 
Maybe it'll birth a party member. <laughs> oh, maybe. That's possible. I want to try to leave. I want to see what happens if we leave. <laughs> if you actually go back to the beginning of the game. Yeah, because we're right I, there. I we're pretty close. It'll be interesting. I feel like the fog will just still be there, and you're meant to just keep going deeper. Definitely, but it's worth investigating. The girl died, so I mean... Get out of my way. I guess if you don't move, they can't aggro on you? Yeah, it's really weird. But once two of them are there, you're fucked. Basically. Because they'll never get off of you. They also don't seem to be able to aggro on your party members like other people. Huh. Maybe it's because they're never they never enter an alert stat status. Yeah. So just their entire log logic is just governed differently. Oh, maybe that's actually a pretty smart guess. All right. Oh yeah, we have to avoid uh, that, dude. My hands are the size of my body. Oh yeah, this is a crypt at the beginning, so we are really close to getting out of here. So I, I wonder if this really gets us anything, if we can if we can get an ending or if we can beat the game this way. Mm-hmm. Uh what? <laughs> Flip side basement. An echo of lone water drops fill the air. <laughs> Two kids. What was that? Red herb. Glass vial. Dars is fe feeling terrible because of the infection. Dars, when did you get infected? The blood. She's bleeding. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she's gonna have an infection. Probably got infected because you didn't. You didn't wrap it, did you? You return to the real world. I guess not, but I didn't realize that bleeding would do that. Where the heck am I? I think that if someone's bleeding and you and you, you don't dress the wound, it, I think it gets infected. Or at least if you interact with certain things, it will. Dars dies because of her infected wound. Okay. Well, I'm going Bye. home with my dog, dude. We're there. There's the fog. Huh? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you escaped the dungeons of fear and hunger. Part of you still doesn't believe this to be the truth. Hadron's still dying of hunger during the screen. You can still smell all the blood and gore that seeps through the seams of the ancient stone walls of the dungeon. You can still feel the gaze of the hundreds of past warriors sacrificed in the pools of blood now left to rot. You can still feel the pressure of the never-ending darkness that the underground caverns offered. You can still f hear the distant flapping of the wings. You still feel dizzy just imagining the rail tracks that lead poor souls deeper into the madness, all the way to the altar of darkness. You delved too deep. You knew it yourself, too. No man could ever return from that deep. You take one more look at the fortress just to make sure you really did make it out. What? Ending E. Escape? <laughs> We're going near here? <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. This game. Wow. So this confirmed a lot of things immediately for us. One, there's more endings, there's multiple endings. Two, we can leave, I guess, that that guy, if that was Lagarde, I think that was, then Lagarde is our, he's our goal. So we, we need to get there and find him. We know where he is. Now, I don't know, I don't know if there's like a, like a quest we need to do or like a time limit or if, or if we have to like, get something I don't know if we had to like if we have to get like an item to prevent him or kill an enemy from uh, so that he doesn't die Bring or something him back from the dead as oh, the zombie necromancy uh. that is the character we haven't played yet the the priest that could be interesting um 
but yeah, I, huh. This is not what I expected. <laughs> and then there's still so much, there's still so much that we don't know about, right? So there's, there's the underground city that looked like Mahabra, I think. And uh, we also haven't followed up on your last stated goal last time, which is that you thought that maybe if you killed the axolotl and took the crown to that weird mouth, that it might react oh, to that. I because you still have to figure out what's going on with the mouth at the, at the village. Completely forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. We kind I of just, need like a list. <laughs> we need to like keep yeah. a list of all the weird uh, loose ends because. We, we like it kind of like how we got stuck in that ga that period where you you thought that there was nowhere else to go in the cave, and I'm like, oh, but of course it's somewhere to go in the cave because the mines are in the cave, and like that's the yeah. rest of the game. Uh, Definitely, it, it's just like a lot to just keep track of. You have to just write down all the things that are still loose ends to follow yeah. up on later. Do Do you want to pilot the next playthrough? <laughs> do you want to uh, go back and get more endings? <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is like this is not. I don't think this is like a true end. I, I think this yeah, is like, like a, from what a I remember bad from throughout what they're referencing here basically. Ending E is the least canon of all endings. <laughs> it's always, it's usually a joke ending or like a this is like when you get the early ending in Prey. Yeah. Yeah. As an as an option, but like it's not we didn't finish the game, so it's not yeah. we're definitely not over. There's a circle. Special thanks to the YouTube channels of Neko the Circle and Risk Rim. Interesting. <laughs> Neko the Sergal, furry rep. Yeah, I just uh, wasn't ready for that. Me uh, neither. No, for those I don't know. Circles are a close. Are uh, they're a they're a unique species in the furry fandom. Yeah. To play Dungeon is... Knights mode, enter the name Schoolboy, Schoolgirl, or School Kid. Oh, so non-binary. How wonderful. <laughs> what does uh, Dungeon Knights mean? I don't know. Upon selecting your character, what is Dungeon Knights? What does that mean? I guess I we should find out what that means. I don't. Yeah, we can try. What is Dungeon that. Knights? Uh, yeah. I, who beats me? Interesting. Well, that was, I guess, it's our the first. It's the the after dark campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our first ending of Fear and Hunger. We are gonna play more question mark i think we are i think i'm down for it i want to see what else this game I mean, has to yeah, offer yeah we, we, i don't i don't see this as us beating the game not at all all right dungeon knights special game mode combines physical mental and social challenger challenges all into one it might be too much for beginners to handle ah so what it's like uber mean? hard mode let's give it a try strong method that you play the normal mode before attempting dungeon knights mode dungeon knights combines physical mental and social challenges and in, all into one and it might be too much for beginners Let's proceed. Social challenges as one word. It Dungeon gives us a new Knights. title screen. <laughs> um. A dark, a dark and moist high school that looms deep <laughs> in the shadows. <laughs> Did we unlock the like uh, Attack on Titan Junior High, like, Omake chapter <laughs> for this game. Like, what the hell? Welcome to the beach episode. One would think this is no place for youth to grow up in, but one would simply be wrong in that hasty assessment. The Dungeon Academy of Fear and Hunger. Oh my god. We we did. We unlocked Blame Gakuen. <laughs> oh my god. We're in, we're in the school... We're in the the, the school-based shonen. I've a very special high school, only for the most special students across the known world. I don't know how I got to attend this school among the hundreds of thousands of other applicants. Maybe it was by miraculous fate, a coin toss by the gods that chose my fate. The social challenges in this run, watch them be like a dating sim. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is the case, I feel honored and feel and full of pride in knowing that one day I will rank among the very few who graduated from this place. And endured the fear and the hunger this dungeon high is known for. 
In any case, before we go any further, let me introduce myself. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, have sp they have sprites, the fucking decapitated the, the fucking wizard is the, is the teacher, teacher. <laughs> pyramid heads up there in the corner. <laughs> Pyramid has a student. Oh my god. So we're all god. of the all of the new gods are here too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm called Enki. That is really all you need to know for now. The thing is, I'm really in a world of trouble. The Academy is going to have its annual harvest festival soon. And with the festival, there is also going to be a prom. It is the pinnacle of each academic year, and not attending the event would deem one socially awkward for the rest of his or her academic career here. The school has this very strict policy of either adapting to its bizarre ways or getting swallowed up by its intense presence. I already think that this mode is more ludonarratively clever than the main game so far. <laughs> what is... What is, this is what am I supposed to do up. with this? Why is there just a skeleton in the corner? <laughs> Why is there an environmental storytelling skeleton in the classroom? <laughs> well, how are they going to have their anatomy lessons without a skeleton? So failing to attend the prom is not an option. The problem is, one needs a partner for the prom. You cannot get in alone. In order to get a partner, you actually have to get other people to like you. You, you found the monster prom campaign? <laughs> <laughs> It is really a modern version of the chivalrous battles and knights that the olden times had with dragons and other ancient deities. The ultimate social challenge, where the stakes are the highest. But I cannot let this menacing threat scare me. I need to step up and look into the empty eye sockets of death itself. I have five days to get a date for the prom. Wish me good luck! Day one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is fucking incredible. I'm glad that we already met the wizard head, otherwise this would be even more confusing. So we've seen this guy before at least. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hey, Enki, you little maggot, who are you talking to? The music. Quit daydreaming. You can have your wet dreams in just a little while. When I'm giving you pieces of trash my attention, I expect the very same at least tenfold. Understood? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 what? What was that? You dare smirking at me? Whoa. <laughs> you ready to listen to me now? <laughs> oh. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dear God. Something, it feels like I can't tell... If, if you told me that every option led to that, I would believe you. But I also <laughs> think it's in this game's character to have hidden an entire fucking dating sim in this unlockable mode. <laughs> I was not prepared for anything that just happened. Me neither. What a, what a high I'm... effort shit post. My entire feelings on this oh game have God. now completely flipped, and I think that this game is genius and perfect. Jesus Christ. Fear fear and hunger and hot to full boyfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> um interesting. That was absolutely cursed. <laughs> uh, How many endings does that game have? <laughs> oh god. What if there's an ending? What if it is a full dating sim? What if there's an ending for every single character in that classroom? What if it's a full dating sim? I'm terrified. Okay. And it's all full of typos. Oh, God. Uh, so we learned that this character's name was Enki just now. That's cool. 
Yeah. I guess they all have canon names. So I wonder what the the name of the mercenary is, because he's, I guess, the one we don't know. Because we know the Outlander is Ragnavaldr, and the knight is Darsa, and then this one's Enki. So that's the last one we, we don't know is the mercenary. Hmm. Put all our time as him. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> just, that's just gonna be looming in the back of my mind now, all the time. We're just aware that that happened now. Like, obviously we have to come back and beat that later. That does kind of once again add to the significance of the letter R. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll just go with this. Once again, a little piss baby difficulty. Let's go. You were born with the soul of the enlightened. You're always seeking restlessly for new knowledge and secrets hidden from the common folk. This trait started to show itself at a very young age as you were chosen to become a dark priest upon the birth of you and your twin sister. Typical to such occult rites, you were pitted against your sibling with ritual daggers and challenged to fight each other to the very last breath. Unfortunate for you, you were born with a fragile body and your sister easily overpowered you and had her dagger on your neck waiting for the final blow. She however showed mercy and withdrew her dagger. She stepped away from you as your high priest masters glared gleefully at the event unfolding before her eyes. Oh my goodness. Uh, Strike your dagger to her spine while she walks away? For sure. You stroke your dagger to the spine of your sister and she collapsed to the ground. The high priest seemed especially pleased with this and prepared you for your ascension ceremony. In the ascension ceremony, you were to resurrect your deceased sister with necromancy oh, and use her as a ghoul. You did this and the cold corpse of your sister brought a smile to your otherwise emotionless face. You learn necromancy. Okay. Unexpected outcome from that choice. Okay. <laughs> After your ascension to dark priesthood, you were to leave the temple grounds and learn occult on your own dark pilgrimage. And beginning with your self studies, you first had to choose the god you dedicate your life to. Oh, for sure, Grogoroth. He's the one. He's like the destruction one. I want the, damage. The skinning one. <laughs> yeah. You traveled across the western continent, learning about different gods, deities, blood magic, and all known sciences. Your studies didn't come without their merits. You were acknowledged by top scholars of the modern times. You were finally granted a pass to the great libraries of the Kingdom of Rondon. You now had a collection of all known history and science at your grasp. You learned of a certain man who was prophesied to begin a new era for mankind, a man meant for greatness. But why would you need to share the spotlight of the gods with any mortal man? Prophecies are only for those who are weak enough to bend to their sorry fates. You need to find this man and learn more. To your current knowledge, he would be found imprisoned in the notorious dungeons of fear and hunger. You decided to stock up before your travels. Um... Probably just magical items. I don't know. Healing items are the thing you're always missing out on, right? Yeah. Let's do healing you always You always go charging in. Yeah. A blue file and two cloth and two fragments. Cloth fragments. So I mean, that's, that's... exactly. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, let's... Let's just add the fourth slot right there. Oh, they move so slow. I'm gonna get eaten alive by wolves. <laughs> I forget, did you get an ability that made you go faster? Yeah. Running there directly gave me, uh... Oh, that's like a speed boost. The dash ability last time, yeah. Hmm. Which means that if you're, if you're thinking that the game has any kind of time limit, that would be a huge advantage, huh? Yeah. Until you killed your sister, I thought your sister was going to be the ambiguous person that's here. Nisramis? Yeah. Yeah. They definitely look similar. Cursed short sword. It'll be noti it'll be noticeable if if they're not here now. <laughs> like if they're suddenly gone because you killed them. Yeah. What does this do? Oh wow. Oh my god. Wow. All right, forced our way through the door. Cool. Turnip. 
Oh, so that's how you deal with doors you can't unlock? I guess so. And as just... everybody else, you just defeat them with the, in the marketplace of ideas? Yeah, I guess so. Guest book on the table, Nightmare's... Oh, we've already read this one. <clears throat> I feel like the only time we ever met Enki was when Enki was the priest. Yeah. The dark priest just sort of sitting in the library ignoring you. Yeah. And then they just never showed up again. Yeah, not yet at least. Hmm. Rowing dart, monocle, ooh. We're getting it's some kind good of drops already. getting gear. Yeah. So this, this is what I was saying when I said like, maybe ah! we could get... <laughs> He's literally faster than you. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe getting your cardio in in advance is such an advantage. Oh. Enki was victorious. Okay. Now what? Monstrosity is down. Search him. Small key. Beat him. No reaction, but it is satisfying. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is Mind this increased. library right here. Can I go in there from here? I probably have to go around. I'm assuming getting, like, scrolls and stuff is more important for... And keep, like books and things. You will never escape someone again. I feel so powerful right now. <laughs> this is fucked up at the moment. Yeah. Literally, how is this happening? Mock up book. Okay, we do need that. That's important. Okay. Everything else is just pure RNG. Alchemilia, Penance Knights. I wonder if the Alchemilla like fan game was any good. I've played it. It's all right. It's not like really worth going out of your way to like experience because like it it, it would be something fun to do at the end of your Silent Hill series probably. Dried it's something that I figured I would just add chronologically based on a release date. Although I might need to compromise on my annual approach to Silent Hill franchise if they're suddenly making like three this year that are all like new things to check out. Yeah. Although maybe I'll be too busy playing fucking oh, uh, Tatka and Jedi in the meantime. Yeah. All right. Well, so there's that's infinite bad. video games. I'm double infected right now. Ah. You got. You managed to get it. Go from an ST, STI to STII. <laughs> the ST2. Tsunami. Maybe maybe they can use these things. Maybe you can cancel your effect. Uh, it's effects with your counter magic. Oh. Yeah. The weird culty doors we've seen a few times. Well, I think they were more at the beginning. Counter magic was successful. Get dunked on magic. Inner maybe it was a mistake coming to these dungeons. Well, no shit. Well, Huh. What is this? Hexen oh. table stands here ominously. Use the Use hexen. the hexen? What? what? There's a skill tree? Whoa. I can learn this... dash? It says lesser souls. This is where you spend the soul stones? They're skill points? Oh my god, this game is just opening up. Hexen creates a we connection between the gods. We played this game for gods. like 10 hours and we found the skill tree. <laughs> Both new and old. To get closer to the older gods, you must work your way up and gain their affinity. Maybe that's why the fucking bear trap didn't work, because I don't have skill points and bear traps. What the shit? Uh. You, you must work your way up and gain their affinity. With each circle, you get closer to them. The new gods only pass on their knowledge to those who share the same birth sign and soul with them. Interesting. This is fascinating. Well, this run is over because I'm double infected and I'm, I'm yeah, definitely Yeah, but we just learned die. so much. What the fuck? Maybe they're friends now. Nope. Nope. <laughs> they don't like you. Well, the skeleton men are very vulnerable to stabbings. <laughs> like normal men. Maybe they're just I wearing Halloween costumes. <laughs> Welcome to our spirit Halloween cult circle. 
There's a prisoner nailed to the statue. The blood is dripping down to a pool at where the statue stands. <laughs> Sacrifice him. There's a prisoner nailed on the statue. The blood is dripping down. Okay, we got that. Huh. You're, that's like you're going to be the dark magician sacrificer this time around. Yeah. Who, likes, who also is good about their intake of greens and vegetables. <laughs> Search for anything useful. Tinder boxes. Again, I'm probably going to... I'm definitely going to be dead in a minute, but... <laughs> this is the room they were in? No. I, I think the rooms are randomly placed, so... The poop hole! We've never done more with the, uh... The amalgam. Oh, yeah, we never we never spoke back to the, uh... The, the flesh golem thing yeah we haven't used the amalgam and we haven't used the spirit circle the summoning circle thing yeah i thought that says skyrim for a second there <laughs> yeah this is where you're this is where we met enki once i think yeah it is pinecone pig instructions so we'll have to read what that, the fuck is that? <laughs> studies of grogoroth one I love how quickly up. you get into these places that feel that because it took hours to get here, it feels like it's so far into the game. All right, we picked up some pages on the floor. That's weird. This does very much feel, <laughs> and then you get an arrow shot at you. This very much feels like uh, when you spend four hours trying to just get past the Tauros demon in Dark Souls 1, and then you play a second time and you're there in 30 seconds. Yeah. All right, so we, we had the Outlander again. Yeah, he doesn't have any different dialogue. Oop. Who are you? Can you tell me more about Oldegard? Yeah, would love to. Oldegard is the kingdom of all the warrior tribes in the north. Oldegard breeds the finest and strongest and bravest men and women known in this age. We also have a long history in sailing and traveling merchants. Okay. Why are you here? I'm here to find a relic. Blah, blah, blah. He already said that. Maybe it's safer together. No doubt it would be for you. But for the time being, I won't be traveling with you. <laughs> Yeesh. Talking mad shit. Will it take? Will it let you take the? It doesn't let you take the dagger, does it? Without the girl. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. A simple dagger laying on the ground. It reminds you of your childhood. Might be a suit. Yeah, it doesn't let you take it if you don't have. The That's girl annoying. Your Search barrel. Two it'd tomatoes. Be very helpful to have the knife first, then the girl. Yeah. Pick up a oh, so a here's here's rubble, oh. right? Always collapsed here. Use explosives. Oh. All right. This game's absolutely wild. Hidden backyard. Dog! 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 <laughs> bark, bark! You extremely cannot... Uh, you definitely cannot outrun these guys. No. <clears throat> well, you were devoured whole by the honestly pretty cute beasts. Yeah. That. So that's interesting. As far as monster dogs go, those are... They, they look, they look fine. <laughs> All right, so we have we have save files at the start of all of these runs. Now, these two, wow, we spent forever in the intro. I think both of these are just like the start of the game as well. So now we've played all four characters. I think our most survivable is going to be this dude, who we called Hadron. Yeah. Yeah, they were just, you were so strong so fast. I was so strong so fast. I, I'm nervous I am kind about... Of, I'm excited about finding out what this character can do. Yeah, me too. Like, I just could wanna... anyone in our party open the skill board? <laughs> the, I bet if I... I wonder if there's a way to recruit Enki. And if I can do that, maybe that will let us open those doors. And if maybe if we recruit this guy, Hadron, we can. Uh, yeah. Or maybe now that your girl knows dark magic, maybe she can open them now. Oh shit! You know what? I didn't even think about that. Huh. The power of two people in a let's play. Well, now we now can be we can each like, other's comment section yeah. live. <laughs> now, well, now we can now we can just think about like an, a path through the game, right? Like. What would the game look like if we did X, Y, and Z? 